Nevada's reopening is not moving into phase two just yet. Thank you for joining us at six o'clock. I'm Kirsten Joyce. Denise. And I'm Denise Valdez. The governor held a press conference just a short time ago, and the I-team's Vanessa Murphy is live tonight with more of those details. Vanessa? Yeah, no date for the next step. So Nevada's reopening is kind of at a standstill right now. Governor Steve Sisolak says while the majority of Nevadans are following the rules, some still refuse to wear masks, some businesses aren't complying, that's not going to help open the state any sooner. Our goal is to continue reopening more of Nevada's economy in a safe and responsible manner. What we do now will determine what we can do next. That's why compliance is so extremely important. Governor Sisolak says his team is waiting for data to see whether the start of phase one of reopening last Saturday causes any increase in the number of COVID-19 cases. That data isn't available yet. They need at least another week. He says COVID-19 hospitalizations are down. This is day 20 of a decrease in cases and testing has increased. He's encouraging more Nevadans to get tested and wear masks. Wear it for one of our veterans. Wear it for one of our thousands of frontline health care workers who go to work every single day to take care of us. Wear it for the person working in the grocery store. Wear it for someone that you know that is impacted, that has cancer, that has diabetes, that has high blood pressure, that has asthma. Governor Sisolak also addressing unemployment and what he calls an overwhelmed system. He pointed to hiring in the unemployment office being fast-tracked so more people can answer phones and how tomorrow is the first day for gig workers, independent contractors, and self-employed Nevadans to file claims. While many viewers who we've spoken with say those changes should have happened a long time ago, like two months ago when all this started. Reporting live, Vanessa Murphy, 8 News now.